Vladimir Putin has warned NATO countries they risk nuclear war if they send troops to Ukraine. The Russian leader has been delivering his annual State of the Nation address two weeks ahead of a presidential election that he is expected to win. Little to no opposition stands in his way. Putin told Russians in his speech that he would be stationing more soldiers in Russia's west, close to new NATO members, Finland and Sweden. Now, Putin's nuclear warning comes after France's president refused to rule out the possibility of Western nations sending troops to Ukraine. This was later rejected by the US and Germany. Here's some of what Putin said. They should eventually understand that we also have weapons, and they know it. I just said it now myself, weapons that can hit targets on their territory. Everything that the West is coming up with now, what they threaten the world with, it can result in a conflict with the use of nuclear weapons and therefore the destruction of civilization. Our RIA bureau chief Yuri Roshetto has been following Putin's speech. Now, DW has been your reaction to what we just heard from Putin. What, what message is he sending to Europe and the West? Well, Anya, what we've just heard from the Russian president was a clear threat to the West, addressed to the NATO countries that allegedly want to destroy Russia. Uh, Putin responded to the, you said it, to the words of the Russian, of French, French president, who didn't rule out the idea of NATO soldiers in Ukraine, which was rejected by the US and Germany. But Putin threatened that the consequences of such a move could be tragic for those who would send soldiers to Ukraine. He also commented on the rumors that Russia allegedly wanted to station nuclear weapons in space, which he called fake news and accused the Americans of spreading them, giving the US election campaign as the reason. Now, given uh, Russia's recent military gains in Ukraine, did he say anything more um, about the war? Well, Putin has once again given a kind of yeah, history lesson with his view of the war. Uh, according to Putin, Russia is defending itself from NATO. Uh, we've heard that several times. It's not nothing new. Putin thanked the people in Russia for supporting his war policy in Ukraine and once again very sharply attacked the Western countries that allegedly want Russia to fall. Russia, he said, would continue to follow its war aims. Uh, in this context, Putin also talked about the arms industry in Russia, which is running at full speed. Uh, this means that an end to the war is obviously not to be expected anytime soon. Now, presidential uh, elections uh, are just two weeks away now in Russia. Putin is the only viable candidate. What did he have to say to Russians about this upcoming vote? Well, yes, this was Putin's 19th speech to the nation, uh, and it was a political speech, just as one would expect shortly before the election from a politician. The only difference being that there is no real democratic election to be expected in Russia. So Putin focused on many internal uh, successes or issues. He praised, among other things, the stability of the Russian economy, which hasn't collapsed under Western sanctions. It should be said that most Russians don't actually live in poverty, but the sanctions are going to have a long-term impact, whether in the aviation industry, where parts of Western aircraft are running out, or in medicine, where shortages are allegedly emerging. Uh, food prices have also increased. That also Putin haven't mentioned. Uh, but Putin has promised many social guarantees, and that was clearly standard election campaign rhetoric.